Oof. And now the actual in-game time is linked up. Yes. Okay. Uh, fair enough. Okay, so it's like you've decided to make your own way into the world, get out there, explore the new frontiers. That's all the right audio. Wait, that's all the way right. Okay, I'm, I'm, they're gonna fix these in a later patch, I'm sure. So some of these sentences don't make too much sense. Uh, you don't need to live by anyone's rules, but you're own. Well, made for exploring, you know? Living free, being out there, it's a great feeling. Uh, take from a cat that's been on the road. Be lonesome, can grind on the soul. We're gonna make friends along the way, rumbling this crazy world as squares were without some pals. Yeah, man, friends where it's at. Speaking of rambling, I'm doing a bit of that myself, my bad. Maybe it's about time for you to wake up. Uh, listen, that rap I gave you about friends, it's pretty key. You'll dig the sound like a whole lot more if you share it with some friends, if that's your scene. Yeah, an island paradise with your best pal sounds pretty groovy to me. Uh, cool. When you wake up, you'll be in sync with real time. Dig that island life and I'll catch you later. Yeah. Okay, so like I said, that whole first episode was basically just uh, pre-programmed to uh, have different time for the day. Which I can get down with. Hey. Are you in there? Oh, I hope I haven't woken you up abruptly. I do wish to discuss something with you. Yes, yes, I'll be out here when you're ready. Ah. It's gonna be alone, isn't it? It's gonna be alone. He's been waiting for me all night. Ooh, we've got mail. Right, there you are. I hope you had a pleasant nap. Oh, well, I suppose it was a bit more than a nap, wasn't it? It's a brand new day. I slept for that long. <laughs> yes, it's quite normal to be one after such a long trip and a major life event. Speaking of which, I have a few more things that you might find useful to just talk quite in my little paradise. First of all, you'll need one of these, yes? It's the Nook phone. It's your very own Nook phone. I have these especially made for island residents. Uh, I want to make sure it's working right, so you could try turning it on for me. Boop. Oh yeah. Right, welcome. And we've got six apps right now. Good, good looks like you're getting good reception as well. Yes, on the, the, the deserted island has good itself reception. Alright, feel free to put it away now. Okay, have you ever used a smartphone before? Sure have. Very good, then this should be a breeze for you. In fact, these little phones are rather easier to operate than normal ordinary phones. We just simply removed most of the features, so I can't call for help. Okay, is that a bill? It's your itemised bill, thank god. I was, I was getting bored on this island. Right, this includes everything, airfare, accommodations, labour and tax, and of course your Nook Phone HM, bringing your grand total to the modest sum of 49,800 bells. Okay. Yes, yes, well then. Wait, you don't have any bells. I can't believe I didn't think of this. Ah, of course. Well, no need to worry. I was prepared for exactly this type of tricky situation. For the getaway package, you can pay your fees with miles instead of the standard bells. Of course, it's extremely helpful service, the Nook Mileage program. Mileage? It was quite extraordinary if I say so myself. With the Nook Mileage program, you can earn miles by simply living your life here on Jaffa. I dare say, the more you enjoy your own life, the more Nook Miles you can earn. And you can use them to pay back your moving fees and much more. So the bottom line is, you need 49,800 bells to pay your move-in fees, but with this new service, would you believe it, it only comes to 5,000 miles. So just go ahead and register so you can pay in miles. There, there are more details available in your Nook phone, just open the Nook Miles app, and you'll see even some miles are just travelling to the island and joining the programme. Now if you'll excuse me, I've got to go do other things, but I heartily congratulate you once again on your arrival. I'm so happy to have you as a resident of Jaffa and the client of Nook Inc. And with that, we're free. Wahoo! My new wife is on the way. I can do whatever I want. Right, we're gonna check my mail, I think. From now on, island time will match real time. Uh, just, just basically general stuff. Press minus to save and stuff. Right, we've got some letters. Two things from Nintendo. Thank you for uploading the update. We'd like to give you presents to show our appreciation. Please keep an eye out for future updates as well. Okay. Place the, that present in my pocket. And this is going to be... Congrats on the big move. We hope you enjoyed this new island. Here's a gift that is sure to come in handy. I think I know what that gift is. Maybe. I know one of them is going to be a crafting recipe. Yeah, simple DIY work be workbench. So, it, what's that? I wonder how I can memorise it. Oh, I have to do everything else. And a Nintendo Switch, okay. Oh, uh, right, we had some Nook Mouse to claim though, so uh, I might even roll the Nook Mouse program. Yeah, 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 I know this. Basically, you do things, you get Nook Mouse. And that's one of them. So we've already got 10% of the overall things we need. 
So, uh, what should we do? Uh, go ahead, be shellfish. Uh, number of seashells you sell. Okay, well, we might as well do that before we get two back on the rails. Uh, that last half an hour or so was a loss of reading. So, uh, yeah, the more seashells I can grab, the better it seems. Anything is useful right now. Okay, that, I think that counts as one seashell. Uh, we will talk to my villagers in due time, just right now. I just want to get some Nook Miles ranked up. Oh, the bonfire is still burning. That's cute. Okay, uh, Timmy and or Tommy's just kind of roaming. I uh, suppose we'll talk to this villager. Uh, I keep forgetting their name. Canberra. Okay, I'm getting a good vibe from the temp pot you picked for me. Thanks for the hand. We all look out for each other here, so if you ever need anything, don't be shy. No, huh? Oh, yeah, I was thinking about how to thank you when I came up with a recipe for a leaf umbrella. Okay. Alright, so the first thing I thought when I got here was, now that's a lot of weeds. That's kind of where I got the idea. It's a DIY project that uses weeds. Okay, if I've never done one before, I should ask Tom Luck to help me out. He's doing it for free at Resident Services. Uh, what I do want to do is, uh, I know this is one of the things. Uh, so I unboard some board and that, just view those to get them out of the way. I, I do want to create a new post, and the keyword is just going to be, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, subscribe. Because, yes, that's right, I'm going to be uploading as many episodes of this as I can. So, uh, by all means, uh, stop on by if you want a little tip, so just kind of a vibe for a little while. Uh, okay, where's the exclamation mark? It's somewhere. Uh, is it? Okay, yeah, there it is. Okay, well, I'm going to write that on the thing. Uh... So, yeah, feel free to do subscribe, leave a like and all that, it really does help out. And because of that, I got some Nook Miles. I'm not sure where the Nook Miles are, but appreciate that in a future update, but balls and board benefit. We did the thing. And we're at 800 miles right now. Alright, heading back over onto Tad, we should be able to uh, get, I don't know, a tad more info about what we're supposed to do. Uh, I did see him roaming around near the beach, so that's probably my best bet. There we are. Oh, my hype's slowly ramping up. Okay, that's what you found for me. It's just incredible. Thanks. I hope you can keep looking out for each other like this. It's good to have buddies. Slow. Oh, that's right. I've got something for you here. Thanks again for finding a place for my place. Okay. That explorer's hat is perfect. You can try it on by pressing X to open the pockets and then press A to select the item you want. Choose where if you want to put it on. You can always change it later if you need to work out. I mean, we might as well put it on. Uh, more Nook Miles, though, seriously. So, uh, Nook Miles. Yeah, I want togetherness. How many is that? 300? Okay, 1,100. I'm alright with that. Uh, I do want to try and craft... Uh, what's Horde Reward? Uh, okay, I want Shutterbug is that. And Edit Credit. Okay, these ones where it's just one circle seem to be the best one. So, uh... Yeah, I might as well take my first island photo. So, on the Nook phone, if I just uh, whip out the camera app. Okay. And then I, uh... I know, I need to... What was it? Okay, no, Tad. Stop, Tad, look forward. No, t uh, Tad, I, 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 I... I, I swear sometimes this game, yes, like, look, look at me. There we are. That, that, that's fair enough. It's okay. And uh, I, I know the edit credit is to do with my passport, so I can go edit that. Uh, so my passport info is shown here. And uh, I can just write a little short comment. Everything else is kind of automatically thrown up onto there. So if we comment... Uh, I suppose we'll just make it a simple hi. Just kind of want to spend too long on the trivial things. Though I do want to also kind of get those knock miles. Uh, and uh, now if we were to head back into that app, and uh, we scroll down to where we found them, get one set of miles for 300, and I'm assuming we're going to be at 1,700 by the time we're done with this, which I'm fine with. Yeah, but jeez, we're already almost paying off our first home loan. Anything else that's kind of lying around? Exterior decorators set up 10 things outside. First custom design, we'll do that later. Though I do want to go figure out how to do DIY. That's a big aim of mine. Alright, so if we head on in here... Yeah, okay. You're getting inside building seems to not be my strong suit right now. No, we're getting that. We'll get there. Right. 
Okay. Ah, Daniel, welcome, welcome. As you can see, it's quite cosy in here. It's funny how cosy doesn't always mean comfortable. Let me know if you need advice on how to spend your time on this island or anything else. If you need advice about basic island materials, you can talk to Timmy. He can help you with the procedure of the essentials of thriving on a little paradise. And if you want to earn some bells, he has a rather generous policy purchasing just about anything. Not strictly advisable from a business perspective, but quite generous, yes, yes. One important thing. I'm offering a free DIY workshop. Yeah, that's what we're here for. So if we head over here, what do we need? Okay, each participant will make and keep their own tools and receive a set of DIY recipes. It'll be quite useful, uh, sure. I'd love to. Alright, that's the island spirit. I happen to be free right this very moment, so let's get started. Okay. Whew. Welcome to my DIY workshop. I suppose the workshop is overselling it a bit. When you see how simple it is to do it yourself, you'll understand what I mean. The basic idea is to get materials, follow a recipe, and then craft using a workbench. So today we'll be constructing a fishing rod using common materials. We need five tree branches. Uh, come see him again once we've got the materials. Okay. I hope this doesn't go on for too long. Again, I, I've seen it, but it's all a bit fuzzy. I wasn't paying too much attention. You know, besides the initial freak out of, oh my god, someone's got the game early. It is kind of just background fodder, so... I know, I know bits and pieces. Uh, yeah. Like, you think I'm smart enough to know how to mod my Switch? Yeah, I mean, thanks for the compliment and all, but get out of town. Would not like to be banned from online. Okay, if we shake the tree, yeah, we can get the fifth one. I like that. I, I can get down with that, it's pretty groovy. Anyway, yeah. So, I would like to try and uh, open up the rest of the game, so right now it's kind of very on rails. It's like, you really need to go do this, this, and this. Uh, and by the end of this episode, I would like to go and uh, kind of have that freedom back. Okay, I found the necessary materials. Let's get started on crafting that fishing rod. Just select a project from the workbench and get started. Give it a try. Right, flimsy fishing rod. Let's do it. I made a flimsy fishing rod. Yeah, whenever you uh, get something new, it sounds like the beginning of Africa by Toto, which I find pretty funny. Anyway, as you can see, crafting is quite simple, provided you have the correct recipes, and that concludes the workshop. Right, okay, there's a few common DIY recipes. I'm assuming they're just basic things. Okay, would you mind opening up your Nook phone? Yeah, so your recipes are shown on your phone, so you don't need to come back to the workbench and check. Oh, uh, and my Switch controller actually vibrated just then, which I find pretty cool. Alright, splendid, thank you. The DIY app is now installed on your phone and is ready for you to use anytime. And the flimsy fishing rod you just crafted is yours to keep. It won't last forever, but it should serve you well for a little while at least. Speaking of fishing, perhaps I can give you a few tips. Uh, aim for the shallow fish. Yeah, this is just general stuff. And with that, uh, we got even more knock miles. Uh, I am having you know, a blast playing this. Okay, what? I saw knock miles. Okay, uh, well, I suppose if we want to get some, uh, DIY recipes has just opened. What do we have? So we've got fishing rod, campfire, and a flimsy net. So nothing too major. Uh, in custom designs, I think I'll just make one to kind of, uh, you know, j just get those nook miles up. Uh, I do want to access that, what looks like an ATM right now. Uh, so what are the different tools here? I am quite interested in how this all works. Okay, so I'm assuming there's different call palettes, but... Okay, is there no way for me to turn off those lines type of thing? Uh, I don't think there is. Oh, okay, yeah, because uh, these are all here, so... If I kind of go through and just... I don't know, I think I'll just make a nice blue thing for now. I might, I might you know, do something with this in the future, but... For now, it's just going to be kind of a, uh, you know... I mean, I, th I think I've got the hang of this already. I, mean, I don't think there's touch screen design things. We'll just name it design pattern. What's a beautiful blue square? And now we can get some nook miles. Uh, again, scrolling ain't too best. I wish it was just a button that I could press to kind of just summon them all into my pocket at once. Again, I can't complain. I am at 2,200 right now. Subtle flex. I know. Yeah, oh, I am excited. Excited. And with that, the game basically opens up into being whatever the hell you want it to be. 
Uh, I mean, there is a few more kind of tutorials or things that you can construct, but na now you basically have full free, re free reign. Talking about free reign, uh, let's catch some fish. Yeah, you can see there's a little fossil over there. You can't reach that yet, but I am going to go kind of vigorously fish. Uh, you can change the camera angle as well to be more kind of GameCube-like. Ah. Uh, I don't expect too much content on this. Again, I, I'm not sure how long I'm going to be playing it for. Possibly like every day in a week and upload my day's worth of content. It might be a double upload for day one, who knows. Okay, he's, he's biting. Come on. Yeah, the sound design is beautiful. There we go. Right, mashing A to reel him in. What we got? Okay. Yes, I call a loach. It's looking at me with reproach. So yeah, I might walk like this for a while just because it, it seems to be fun. Uh, it's just, it's nice to have a little break from City Folk, uh, obviously. Eventually, I will be going back to that, but, you know, I think this is just a, such a new game, and I really want to play it. Like, I cannot stress how much I wanted to play this game. And now it's finally here. And I got the inside scoop on it. Like, what more could I ask for? Seriously. Uh, talking about what I could ask for, I would very much like to get some fish. So, uh, yeah, I need to remember to keep collecting those, uh... What what should I call it? It's those fossils. There we are. Not fossils, shells even. Since those are also a good place to make money. All the stuff I'm catching right now is probably just gonna go straight into the museum. Uh, I should be able to learn these recipes now. Yeah, okay. As I suspected. Well that frees up some space in our inventory. Okay, I want the DIY recipe for simple DIY workbench. Uh, how many fish have we got? We've just got two. And we've got, uh, got a couple shells as well. Aw, yeah. oh, he's walking around. That's adorable. Right, uh, well, I guess we'll try and catch some rhythm fish right now. The, the water looks so good, though. I can't overstate that. It is... Mm, like, it's definitely got a more unique art style from the others. Like, you could still look at another game and say this is a good art style. And you could say you prefer it, because it is, you know, that's just that different art style. But right now, I am loving how this game looks. Okay, come on, keep biting, keep trying. Ah, yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, he fell for that hook, wine, and sinker. Okay, yes. I caught a black bait. It's the most metal of most fish, or all fish, should I say? Okay. Uh, I really, I am tempted to get a net because, at least with bugs, I can kind of tell if I've caught it or not by eye. Fish, it's kind of like you know a 50-50 chance. Anyway. Uh, uh, we just need one more unique fish, which shouldn't be too hard, but again, even if we catch duplicate fish, we can just kind of sell it and use those bells to, I don't know, buy, buy the end essentials, shall we say. Okay, a loach is looking at me with approach. Ah, uh, I already memorized these. It's been like however many minutes it's been since I started playing. Jeez. I think ocean fish would probably be my best bet. I just want to kind of get five unique things to donate to Tom Nook. Uh, those of you that missed the line or maybe you've already forgot, he wants me to give him five different things. or well, fish or bugs. Fish or bugs, basically. I don't think we have access to fossils right now. They all appear to be on the other side of that river. Uh, anyway. Oof. Is that an olive flounder or a dab? I caught a dab. Oh, that's screenshotted. All right. Well, with that, ah, oh, goodbye balloon. But with that, I don't really want to push my uh, flimsy fishing rod too hard. I don't really want it to break just yet. So we'll head into here. We'll donate the stuff and we'll wrap it up. Ah, uh, yeah, day one is just kind of like chilling out. Uh, yeah, I think it might be one more thing on day one, but after that, I don't see too much happening. Okay, what would I like to talk to him about? I found a creature. Okay, Splendid, let's have a look, shall we? Can I select multiple? I can't, I have to donate them individually. Okay, what a catch, this is a black bass. Okay, what other fantastic creatures might be living here? I have an idea. An old friend of mine runs a museum, I'd love to send it, it to him for a close look. Would you be okay with that? Sure. Okay, extra good care of the black bass. And this is no way tied to my generous donation, but it's a useful app. Ah, uh, it's going to be the encyclopedia, isn't it? Yeah, my Joy-Cons vibrate whenever he sends me a 
app or something to my phone. I, it's, it's addicting, that little vibration. Right, he sent me a Critopedia app. It's a terrific resource for expiring researchers such as myself. With this one app, you can get all the important details about the bugs and fish you find. Yes, yes. I do hope you'll continue to fill it with your discoveries and share them with him too. I'm sure you'll be able to come up with some kind of additional reward. Alright, uh, talking about additional rewards, I do want to sign on to this. Uh, basically, I'll explain this better than him. You can exchange Nook Miles for rewards or bells for items. And every time you log on, it also functions as an ATM, but every time you log on for the first time in the day, it gives you some bonus Nook Miles. So accessing the Nook thing, 50 bonus miles. And that increases every day, so... uh. Yeah, you'll be pretty drowning in good stuff. So, for example, if we have a look right here, you've got a book, a handcart, MVP thing, uh, just the likes. It changes every day. And, uh, and uh, please select uh, well, sign off. Right, thank you for your patronage. Uh, talking about patronage. Actually, no, I'm not going to interact with him yet. Okay, so they're offering limited stock. I'm just going to spam through that because I don't mind. I do want to check in the recycle bin. Uh, again, I'm going to spam through all of their explanations because I kind of already know their function. And, uh, because I've seen some early footage. Basically, it's the recycling bin. If something's left on the floor, like an item, or they destroy something when constructing it, it'll be thrown straight in there. If it gets full, they get rid of the older items first, and everything's free. And I'm going to claim that cardboard box because I desire to put it outside my house. Okay, how can he help me? I want to sell. What am I offering? Uh, I can only really sell... Oh, oh, my finger slips and I press B instead of A. I am useless at times. Right, I want to sell... What are you offering? Uh, I would like to sell a weed, these seashells, uh, the extra loach I've had, and that cowrie. Should be about a thousand bells, I hope. Ooh, two thousand bells. That's a deal. Right, and... Uh, Okay, I've got a ping on my Nook phone. I'm assuming it's just for selling some items. Oh, I accidentally selected the wrong thing. Right, anyway, uh, let's donate the rest of the stuff here and record an episode. Right, let's have a look at that one as well. Horse mackerel time, baby. What a catch. I do believe this is a horse mackerel. Would you mind if I sent this magnificent creature? Sure. Uh, I'm just going to spam through all this text because it is a... You know. Okay, uh, yes I have. Is he going to give me another recipe? Okay, mine's it. Yeah, so I get a new recipe every time I donate something. That, that's cool. Um, I will have to open up the app and check, but... At least for now, I'm having fun. Okay, an axe. Okay, so we've got the flimsy axe on uh, Then it looks a lot more recipes if we can get wood. Uh, right, I found a creature! Another creature. Let's have a look at that one as well. Uh, I'm just going to spam through this and... Uh... Oh, I'll keep it running just because I think all the people want to see this game for what it is. Uh, you can mash B and it speeds through everything as fast as it can, which is uh, pretty useful. Uh, it's a good care of that dab. He has a proper reward for me this time. Ooh, flowers. Okay, red short bag. Okay. Um, I guess we'll go start... I suppose, uh, in City Folk, I always planted the flowers around Nook's store, so I suppose this time we'll plant the flowers around my own house. Because I would like to, uh, again, obviously, I think, later on, uh, when it comes to grading shops, the more money I spend, the better. And say there's no furniture and whatnot, I can just buy some flowers and just dump them in front of my house. <laughs> right. Right, what's he got for me now? Remember those flower samples I gave you? The growth will be very strong. Okay, if you water them each day. So, I'm guessing this is the watering can. Yes, yeah, so you don't need a silver or gold watering can to get hybrids. You just need to water them. Which is good. I'm... Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. And now, uh, the final thing we need to donate... Uh, I found the creature. It's the final creature. Let's find it. What's it gonna be? Crucian Carp. And we gotta spam through this wall text because I've already read it once. Sure, feel free to send it. Aw, oh, it's wholesome. And he's getting a call. Hold oh, the phone, someone's calling. Wow, this is that you? Oh, what splendid timing. Yes, yes, do you remember the venture we discussed? Well, it's come to fruition. I'm currently stationed at an island that we decided to call Jaffa. Yes, the local fauna is abundant as expected, just as I told you. Mm hmm. How many precisely? Well, there's no way of knowing just yet. I've received, let's see, five specimens so far. 
Seriously? Well, that is very exciting. Oh, but you have to excuse me. I'm with a customer right now. <laughs> Just hung up. Well, I'm sorry to keep you waiting. That was my friend Blathers, the one who curates the museum. Believe it or not, he's going to come to our island and I help us identify and preserve the local creatures. So I could use your help. Ah, since you've done so much scouting and collecting already, would you be able to find a spot for Blathers? You need a good size space, really, to build out a world class museum, so do keep that in mind. This is exciting. It's all coming together. Yes, yes. Okay, well, uh. I think I'm going to record three episodes in one day, which. I mean, fair enough. Just because then, in kind of down days where there's nothing much for me to do other than catch bugs I've already got, donate to the museum, and all those other things. You know, I kind of have other content for I expect this to be daily. Maybe even twice daily. You know, again, uh, the more likes the series gets, the more stuff I'm probably going to upload, and the faster I'm going to upload it as well. So, uh, yeah. Right, so we've got to go. Ooh, I saw a greedy weeder. That looks interesting. Right, so we need to pick up 50 weeds and then sell them to presumably the Nuttlings, which I'm fine with. Uh, where I want this museum, though? Big question. Uh, I mean, I suppose. I don't want to. I don't want to really put anything near that river intersection where they all intersect. Uh, so I suppose. Uh, Kind of head up here and to the left and see what we got. Yeah, I don't want to place it too near the shore or too near any rocks so it doesn't obscure anything. Again, I'm trying to look for an opening in the trees, but at this point it's kind of a it's kind of like, you know, a, a dream if I'm able to avoid them for that long. We could put the museum right next to my house. Uh, how would that look though? Alright, but there's this tent marker build here. Okay, if we move it forward just one so it doesn't demolish the trees. There we go. Would this be a good place? Sure, this is the spot. Oh! Wow! So he can set up his place now, so that means tomorrow uh, we'll have the little museum tent, which is wholesome. I suppose to wrap this up, I'll go start planting some, uh, some flowers around. Uh, I don't think I'm going to go try and catch much more. I'll probably try and craft a few more things off camera. But I think that's probably going to wrap it up for day one. We, we've got this constructing, which is fine. I think right now I'm just going to kind of chill out, you know, see what happens, play the game. Uh, again, I can't donate anything else to Tom Nook, so uh, you know, I might go around craft a net and an axe and whatnot. But, you know, you're not going to be seeing any more major improvements on camera. So, I think that's good. Again, if I feel like playing later in the evening to kind of get another side of the game, then I will. But let's wrap this up. So, if you enjoyed this video, then be sure to leave a thumbs up, possibly subscribe, turn the notifications, and leave a comment down below. Uh, I've got to wait for the fish to swim back outwards and then throw it. It's a bit of a pain how it's harder to lock on to them here than it is in uh, Pocket Camp. Uh, let's see what we got. Anything new? Hey! Yes! I caught a sea bass. No, wait, it's at least a C plus. And with that, I think I'm gonna call it. Again, let's, uh, let's get funky. Ah, oh, that's nice. Yeah, there's so many different things that I can do to kind of, uh, thumbnail taking in this is gonna be 10 times easier. So, uh, we'll capture that. So, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up, possibly subscribe, turn on notifications, leave a comment down below, and tune in. We're gonna be trying posting daily on this game. And uh, also, I'm going to be keeping with consistent regular uploads as well, so expect two videos per day for at least this solid while. Uh, though on Sundays, it'll probably just be one episode of this, so uh, do keep that in mind. But, with all that said, and all that aside, thanks for watching, guys. My name's been Neramic, and peace out.